Dubai's wealthiest person. With its high towers and renowned hotels, Dubai is known for its luxurious lifestyle. Among the millionaires and billionaires in Dubai, have you ever wondered who is the richest among the richest? How does this person live his life? And what kind of possessions does he have? In this video, we will get to know Dubai's most prominent and richest person today. One of the richest person in the world is Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, with a net worth of more than $15 billion. Sheikh Mohammed, the ruler of this glitzy desert city, however, lives a lavish life. He has served in a variety of important roles in the United Arab Emirates, including Vice President, Prime Minister, and Emir of Dubai. He has established a reputation as a humanitarian and visionary leader who has led several projects to raise Dubai's standard of living. Let us now take a closer look at the lavish lifestyle of the ruler of Dubai, which includes his mansions, private islands, and more. But before anything else, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. Fit for a King Palaces and Private Islands The Zabil Palace, Sheikh Mohammed's home, is one of the most obvious representations of his riches and authority. The stunning 37-acre palace is situated in the heart of Dubai. A large ballroom, multiple guest suites, and even a private zoo are among its 150 rooms. The castle also has a horse racetrack, an indoor pool, and a collection of antique cars. Intricate mosaics, marble flooring, and gold-plated accents are all featured in palaces construction, which combines traditional Islamic and modern architectural elements. Despite not being accessible to the general public, the palace is occasionally used for significant occasions and official gatherings. Sheikh Mohammed has a variety of homes in Dubai in addition to the Zabil Palace, including a beachfront mansion on the Palm Jumeirah, one of the wealthiest neighborhoods in the city. If you thought Sheikh Mohammed's mansions were incredible, wait until you see his private island. There is a distant paradise in the Persian Gulf on Zaya Norai Island that can only be reached by boat or helicopter. On the island, there are 32 different houses, each with an own infinity pool and easy access to the water. In an effort to blend in with the island's natural beauty, the villas that have roofs, wooden accents, and floors to ceiling windows that offer breathtaking views of the ocean. The island also has a number of restaurants, a spa, a number of water sports facilities making it the perfect hideaway for anyone taking a lavish vacation, a collection of luxury automobiles and yaks. A well-known fact about Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum is that he owns expensive cars and yaks. He is the wealthy king of Dubai, and to match his lavish lifestyle, he has a sizable fleet of expensive automobiles and boats. The Sheikh has some of the most expensive and prestigious cars in the world, starting with his fleet of opulent vehicles. One of these in his Rolls-Royce Phantom, a luxurious and sophisticated vehicle that is regarded as a pinnacle of automotive perfection. With a starting price of a close to $450,000, the Phantom is prized for its cutting-edge technology impeccable construction, and unmatched comfort. The Sheikh Mercedes-Benz S-Class is another vehicle that epitomizes luxury and comfort. The car is renowned for its outstanding engineering, elegant design, and cutting-edge technology. The Sheikh obviously enjoys living on the open seas if we judge by his collection of vessels. His most magnificent vessel is without a doubt a 162-meter-long yacht with some twas quarters for up to 115 passengers. The yacht's stunning interior was designed by Andrew Winch and features lavish suites, a helipad, various swimming pools, and even a garage for cars and motorcycles. 
The Quatrioli, a second yacht owned by Sheikh Mohammed, is almost 85 meters long. This ship's sleek, modern design is both fashionable and functional. It was built by the German shipyard Lursen. The boat boasts six luxury suites that can accommodate up to 12 people and a range of amenities like a gym, spa, and movie theater. Leadership and Philanthropy Despite being renowned for his wealth and opulence, Sheikh Mohammed is also admired for his ability to lead and his kindness. He founded a number of charitable organizations, including as the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Foundation, which prioritizes the development and education of young people. Numerous social, scientific, and educational initiatives in Dubai and internationally have received financing from the foundation. The Sheikh also discussed a variety of initiatives aimed at raising Dubai's standard of living. The Dubai Strategy 2020 is one extensive strategy to transform Dubai into a smart, sustainable and joyful metropolis the plan aims to stimulate economic growth strengthen social cohesion and improve public services among other objectives under sheikh mohammed's leadership dubai has transformed into a global hub for innovation and entrepreneurship the main institutions, research facilities, and technology hubs in the city include the Dubai Silicon Oasis and the Dubai Internet City, to name just two. The Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum has also started a number of initiatives to aid small and medium-sized businesses such as the Dubai SME 100, which recognizes and aids the most creative startups and entrepreneurs in the area. Sheikh Mohammed's strong vision, dedication to innovation, and desire for excellence define his leadership style. He is continuously looking for innovative solutions to the problems the United Arab Emirates and the larger region are experiencing since Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum has a thorough awareness of them. He is a big proponent of sustainability and has done a lot to lessen Dubai's carbon footprint and spread environmental awareness. What magnificent it would be to live a prosperous life and also have a nice heart. Would you prefer a life similar to what Sheikh Mohammed Rashid Al Maktoum live? Start right away, as Sheikh Mohammed once remarked, to take a risk and fail is not a failure. The real failure is to fear to take any risk. Share your opinions in the comments section below and be sure to subscribe and never forget to like our YouTube channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching and see you on our next video.